What's going on guys? God damn it's been a long time since I've done one of these and well the biggest reason I'm doing one of these right now is that I just saw Halloween Kills last night with a friend from work. Halloween Kills is a 2021 slasher film directed by David Gordon Green starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Annie Matichuk, Judy Greer, Anthony Michael Hall, Will Patton, and Robert Longstreet. There's a lot to talk about with Halloween Kills. A lot to talk about. Which, uh, Halloween Kills serves as a sequel to Halloween 2018, which serves as a sequel to Halloween 1 from 1978, which completely skips over all the sequels from Halloween 2 all the way to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which is for the better because now we don't have the incestuous rape or the gothic mansion posing as the Myers house or the crappy reality show on MTV. We don't have the white trash breakfast we don't have the skull fucking, we don't have the mental institution rape, we don't have no more, we don't have any more white horse, we don't have that shit anymore, we don't have any Margot Kidder as a therapist, we don't have any of that shit anymore. We just have Halloween 1, we have John Carpenter's classic to work off of now. Well now we've got Halloween 2018, but... How I felt about Halloween 78, classic, don't know anybody that doesn't like it, if you don't like it, you're wrong, yeah, your opinion's wrong. I mean, it's my opinion to think that your opinion's wrong. Your opinion's wrong. Um, just kidding, obviously. If you don't like the movie, that's not really any of my... That's not my problem. Um, Halloween 2018, very good movie. My biggest issue with Halloween 2018, I liked everything about it except for the fact that I don't feel that it felt connected enough to Halloween 78. That atmospheric continuity of John Carpenter's Halloween, that didn't carry over into Halloween uh, 2018 the way that I wanted to, wanted it to, or the way that I thought it did at first. So Halloween 2018 was actually my favorite in the franchise. Halloween 78 is just slightly above it now. Halloween 78 is a classic. Halloween Kills fixes that. Halloween Kills feels more of a direct se feels like more of a direct sequel to John Carpenter's Halloween than Halloween 2018 does in the sense of lighting, tone, mood, Halloween atmosphere. I'm getting over a cold, so I've got a bad cough, so I'm going to have to make a cut. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting over a cold and I just usually I have a lingering cough that sticks with me for a few weeks. I was just having a coughing fit, so I'm sorry about that. I didn't plan that. I wanted to do this for a while. Um this movie really feels more like a continuation of Carpenter's Halloween than Halloween 2018 did. And the reason I say that is, before we go any further, we're going to have a little bit of spoiler talk in here. We're not going to have a lot, but make sure if you don't, if you don't care about spoilers, uh, you can keep watching. Obviously, if you care about spoilers, go see the movie, or click off this video, go see the movie, and then come back. Um, I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to click off. I'm going to grab me a sip of water. All right, that was plenty of, that was plenty of time to click off of here. Um, right, so the reason I say that Halloween Kills feels more like, if you hear that creaky noise, that's my chair, sorry. Um, Halloween Kills feels more like a continuation of John Carpenter's Halloween that opening flashback scene, they knocked it out of the park. It feels like a continuation of Halloween 78. I prefer this flashback scene, this 15, 20 minute flashback scene. I think it was more like 10, 15 minutes, really. I prefer this to the entirety of Halloween 2. Okay, and I like Halloween 2. I really do like Halloween 2. I think it's a good movie. This can this uh, flashback scene feels so much more like a natural continuation to Halloween '78 than I felt Halloween Two did, and I'm saying that as somebody that likes Halloween Two. So yeah, um, I just I was blown away with how well they were able to bring us back to Halloween '78. Just that world, that just the way they brought us back to that. It felt like I was watching deleted footage from Halloween 78. Granted, we didn't really need this flashback scene. No, we didn't we didn't really need this flashback scene. But it was it was a nice touch to this film. The Myers house is just 
it's beautiful. It feels just like the Myers house from 78. The inside of it looks just like the inside from 78. The dead dog, which we didn't see in Halloween 78. The dead dog, as much as I'm a dog owner, and usually I get usually I get fucking upset when I see dead dogs. But I was just happy to see that dead dog for continuity's sake. Okay, and I'm a dog owner, okay? I I didn't even have a problem with seeing this dead dog. Just I loved seeing that dead dog. As sadistic as that makes me sound. I just loved that continuity carried over. And just that attention to detail. Dr. Loomis. I know looking at him, it's not Donald Pleasance. It's obviously not Donald Pleasance. I bought that that was Dr. Loomis from 78. Okay, I looked at him. I could buy it. Okay, it's unfortunate Donald Pleasance passed away and before I was even ever born, really, but I bought that that was Dr. Loomis. Okay, the flashback scene, they did a fantastic job with. I loved every second of it. I could just go watch the first 15 minutes of this movie over and over, and I'd be so happy. But then we uh, go back to present day, to the bar, they have all this discourse at the bar. There's some good humor here. Some good humor between the black couple. And there's some good humor just at the bar. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis obviously winds up in the hospital. And I saw a lot of, I saw a lot of complaints that Jamie Lee Curtis wasn't really doing anything in this movie. And if it was if they weren't complaining about that, they were complaining that this was too much like Halloween 2. If you think that this is too much like Halloween 2, you're going to just have to deal with it. Because this is, this is the most logical explanation. That, this is the most logical route they could take. She gets stabbed in the fucking stomach. She's thrown off a balcony. She is... Uh, Michael beats the shit out of her. What do you, what do you think that... What do, you, what do you expect her to do? Do you think they're going to... Did you think that in this film they were going to advertise some kind of UFC pay-per-view between Michael and Lori? Um, that, what do you, what did you expect to happen? She's in a hospital. Yes, okay, she's in a hospital. She was thrown off a balcony, stabbed in the stomach. She, she's brutalized. And you guys are complaining that she's in a hospital and not doing anything? Okay, I mean, if that's, that's your prerogative and that's your opinion, I'm gonna go with the more logical route and accept the fact that she's injured and she's a human being and she's in the hospital okay fair enough you guys don't like it fine i thought it was the realistic approach michael myers in this film he uh he decides that while he's trapped in a uh he's trapped in the burning house he decides that he doesn't really need the firefighters help to get out of there and he thanks them for their service by burying a pickaxe or whatever the fuck it was, burying some kind of... He buried something in this fucking firefighter's face and he dragged the other one down and I'm assuming he fucking did the same thing to him. Um, he thanks the firefighters for their service by going out, um, impaling one in the face with a... I, I don't know what the fuck you would call that thing, and taking a saw to... A, another firefighter's neck uh, brutalizing him so um, Michael Myers like I said he didn't really take too kind to the firefighters trying to help him out that's kind of what Michael Myers does he's he doesn't really need anybody's help he just wants to kill people Michael Myers in this film though holy fuck man he is He's fucking brutal in this fucking movie. He fucking... I, this is... This version of Michael Myers... This is the last version of Michael Myers. This is the last person that I would want chasing me down the street. Okay. I liked... As much as I hated Rob Zombie's Halloween 1... And I kind of liked his second one. I, I liked it a lot more and I liked his first. His version of Michael Myers... Was crazy and sadistic and brutal, but I didn't find it scary. This fucking guy, this version of Michael Myers is terrifying. 
I just... I, I felt genuinely scared watching this first 20 minutes of this movie, the way he brutalizes the old the old couple that just wanted to play with the drone. They just wanted to enjoy their Halloween night, and Michael Myers decided to interrupt. Pretty, uh, pretty gnarly shit. Breaking a fluorescent light bulb, stabbing the one chick in the throat, and then, I, what was it, he bashed the other guy's head on a piece of glass and then impaled his throat with it. Yeah, pretty pretty gnarly shit, man. It's uh, just the rest of this movie has this this very high octane, very uh, balls to the wall, action packed, bl blood guts and gore, just this vibe to it. But at the same time, it's not devoid of any suspense, which I felt Halloween twenty eighteen kind of was in a way until the final house fight. There was some suspense there, but the rest of the movie didn't really have a lot of suspense. This movie corrects that. I I didn't think the suspense was so thick that you could fucking cut it with a knife, but there was some suspense here. And as a, I guess you could say I'm a Halloween, kind of a Halloween purist in a way, that was a nice touch for me. If you think it's a little weird for a Halloween purist, Dave McCray liked this movie too, so... If you think it's a little weird for a Halloween purist to like this movie, I went in with very low expectations. I actually went into this movie thinking this thing was going to be a piece of shit. And it really wasn't. It really was not a piece of shit. Um, I'm not really going to do much spoiler talk other than... I, I don't know if you could really consider this a spoiler. Um, the gay couple. The gay couple that renovated Michael Myers' house. I thought they were kind of funny. Okay, I kind of laughed. The humor in this film overall worked a lot better than peanut butter on my penis. And I kind of found the scene in Halloween 2018 where the cops are talking about the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I kind of found that scene kind of funny because I've, I've had conversations like that. They were kind of just dumb, buddy kind of humor, which I kind of appreciate. I didn't really find peanut butter on my penis that funny, but... In this film, there's some good humor. Just, it worked. I found myself laughing with some of the humor. Um, unfortunately, I don't really want to do a negative review of this movie. This is a positive review, okay? The biggest, biggest complaint I had with Halloween Kills is wasn't the dialogue. There is, a, there is a good little chunk in the middle that I feel like in the hospital that goes on far too long. When I was watching this, when I was watching this scene, all I kept thinking to myself is, when are we going to see Michael Myers kill some people again? That's really the only complaint I had. There's just this little 10, 15 minutes where I feel like it just drags on a little bit. and There's not really much going on other than Lori and Hawkins are you know, conversing, which was kind of sweet to see. It was kind of nice to see that. I just, when that wasn't happening, there was just not really anything there interesting me. I just wanted to see Michael Myers. And at some point, I, we got Michael Myers back, and I was back into the movie. That's really the only complaint I had with Halloween Kills. Everything else, the third act everybody complained about, I, I mean, this is this is obviously a bridge film. This is supposed to... This is, takes place the same night. It's almost like this and Halloween 2018 are just like one big movie. Almost like how Halloween 78 and Halloween 2 were one big movie. This is kind of the same deal with that. Um, I just... I didn't... I really didn't understand the hate with this movie. All in all. I'm going to start kind of wrapping up the review. Um, like I said, the gay couple was funny. Um... The humor worked, kills were good, gore was fucking great. The story, I thought there was more story here than a lot of people gave it credit for. Um, a lot of people were saying there's no story whatsoever. That's not true. That's not true. There is a story here. It's just that, for me, this film is obviously a continuation from Halloween 2018. There's not really, from a... What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? From a realist point of view, we already had a plot twist. We already had Lori's story in the last film. 
there's not really much more of that you can do in this film without it feeling kind of kind of forced kind of just shoved in there shoehorned in there i i just feel like this is kind of how like the mob and like the mob responding to michael myers and that's how i would imagine the town would feel after getting the news broken to them that they have michael myers running around killing people and michael myers going around brutaling people that's kind of how i would imagine michael would feel when or right after getting almost getting killed by the strode women that's kind of how i would imagine michael would be just like this whole night uh the whole night after uh halloween 2018 the rest of the night that that kind of stuff the, the kind of stuff that's going on in this movie that's what i would imagine would be happening after the events of halloween 2018 i wouldn't expect some some like deep schindler's list kind of story i feel like a lot of people went into this movie expecting schindler's list for me personally i'm kind of a halloween purist i loved all the, sus the, the suspense in this movie i like the kills the flashback scene for me was like just a big 16 ounce fresh off the smoker cut of prime rib just no oju sauce by the way i hate oju sauce uh there's just it's just leaking with fucking juice and all that and it's just it just looks amazing that's what the flashback to 78 was like for me just a big 16 ounce fresh off the smoker cut of prime rib the rest of this movie oh yeah and we also got to have an ice cold beer to go with that as well the rest of this movie for me though it was just like it was it was the same piece of fucking prime rib this movie was just fucking amazing i just really enjoyed this movie a lot um i know this isn't the best review of this film you're ever going to see i didn't get heavy into spoilers but i didn't like minor spoilers um i didn't want to ruffle too much feathers with that um, I might do a, a, a big in-depth spoiler review. I may not. I may not have the time to do it, but I found a little bit of time to go on here and just talk about Halloween Kills with you all. And uh, like I said, go out and see this movie if you haven't. If you're still watching this video uh, after the spoiler, either you don't care about spoilers. Uh, anyway, go see this movie regardless. Just go see this movie. Enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Okay, don't go into this expecting Empire Strikes Back or expecting schindler's list just go into this movie enjoy the ride have fun that's really the best you can really uh, the best i can tell you really just go in manage your expectations have fun enjoy what they throw at you and maybe just maybe when halloween ends comes out there might be enough in that film to kind of contextualize all of halloween kills or maybe what you felt they came up short with in halloween kills they may correct that in halloween uh halloween ends so just everybody i think just needs to kind of chill out with the hate to this movie and just see what see what it's gonna close this storyline off first i don't understand i halloween 2018 was a completely different scenario because i didn't when i went to see that movie i didn't think that they were really gonna do two more sequels I knew they were going to do something like this, but this is not how I expected it to do them or to do it. I went into that. I thought it was a good movie, but now that I see that this is going to be like a trilogy, I'm going to watch Halloween Ends and I'm going to judge the entire trilogy as a whole. So I don't think a lot of the criticism of Halloween Kills is getting is really fair to be honest, but that's just my personal opinion. I hope you guys like this discussion, review, what have you, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was it was nice talking to you guys, and I should really be on my way back to doing videos like this again. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'm out. Peace. And my dumbass just fucking forgot to give the fucking score to this fucking movie. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It gets a 9 out of fucking 10 for me personally. For me. For me. Okay? <laughs> Don't shoot me. But that's for me. 9 out of 10. 
thank you guys. Now I can say thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'm out. Peace.